Hello again, I'm Pam O'Connor and I'd like to welcome you to OHAO's third report on historic home architecture in Kalamazoo called What Style Is It? Historian Lynn Houghton is joining us again today and will tell you how to recognize homes built in the historic Italianate style. Lynn? Hi, I'm historian Lynn Houghton reporting for the OHAO, the Old House Owners Workshop, for the uh, looking at houses. What style is it? I'm in the Vine neighborhood, the Vine Historic District, which is both on the national and the local register, just a little bit to the uh, south of downtown Kalamazoo, standing in front of the Remington House on West Walnut Street. What style is this? Well, before we talk about the architectural style of this one, let's talk about the history of the house itself. This house was built in 1858 by a man named Edwin Carter. He didn't really have any intention to live there. He was doing this mainly for real estate. And the next year it was purchased by Lewis and his wife, Mary Jane Remington. Uh, and um, they lived here with their two children. Lewis was a dry goods merchant and they bought it for the grand sum of $1,650. And if you're looking at what's that value today, it's about $55,000. They lived in this. Mr. Remington unfortunately passed away a couple years later, but his wife and his two children, his son who worked in the post office and his daughter who was a teacher, the family remained in this home up until 1939. So they lived in this for over 80 years. When the house sold in 1939, the newspaper wanted to report that it had no electricity, no gas, and only two hand pumps for running water. So what style is this? This is a classic Italianate. Now the Italianate architecture was popular between 1850 and 1880. And like so many of our other architectural styles, whether they be Gothic, Greek, whatever, a lot of it came over from England as this did. And uh, it's probably one of the easiest styles to distinguish. And one of the easiest ways to distinguish it is its shape. It's got a cubic shape. Now, not all Italianate houses are cubic shaped, but I have to say probably the great majority are. The Remington House is an example of a hipped roof um, Italianate, which is probably about 30% of the Italianates were built that way. So let's look at the details of this home that can help us tell what architecture it is and how it so is a perfect Italianate. One of the things is, as I said, is the cubic shape. The other thing is the roof line. It's not steep, it's actually low pitched and sometimes even referred to as hipped. Now the Remington house doesn't have anything on top of that, but occasionally, sometimes we have some Italianates that are topped with something called a cupola. And we've got a couple different houses in Kalamazoo that have cupolas on top of it. The windows are long and narrow, um, regular in size. They're all about the same shape and size. And if you look at the Remington house, you'll see that they're double hung six panes over six panes. Um, they've got shutters on either side. Now these really don't have any kind of decorative molding on top of them. Some of the Italianates, in fact a lot of the Italianates, and when you get into some of the later Italianates, will have some type of decorative molding on top. The other thing is, is not all windows are rectangular. Some Italianate windows are rounded. The other feature that you'll see with Italianates Sometimes up in the cornice, you might have an Italianate that might have a single bracket or a double bracket, and you might have some Italianates that have no brackets at all. The other thing about Italianates is if you look at the front, the Remington has a very decorative portico, a front portico. Uh, sometimes you'll have Italianates that will have a wide spanning porch. Sometimes those are original. There are times when that is um, unique to that house. Maybe it was added later, period. So, those are some of the general features that we find in Italianates. Now you will find Italianates everywhere in Kalamazoo and around. It was a very popular domestic style, especially after the Civil War. You're gonna find them not only in the South Street, in the, in, of course in the Vine neighborhood, in the Stewart neighborhood, you're also gonna find them in such places as West Nitch Hill. Uh, so a lot of neighborhoods that you might not identify as having a lot of historical architecture. How are you going to find out about Italianates? If you want to find some more information about this style, you can check the Kalamazoo Public Library website, especially all about Kalamazoo under the house section that has a lot of information about other Italianates in Kalamazoo and in Kalamazoo County. And in addition, you can look at all kinds of books on uh, historic architecture 
including A Field Guide to American Houses by McAllister. So if you see a house like this that has that cubic shape, nine times out of 10, you might be looking at an Italianate. Thank you for joining me on this episode of What Style Is It? I'm Lynn Houghton, reporting for OHAO. Thank you for joining us. Please follow us on Facebook at OHAO Old House Owners Workshop. This program is made possible in part by Public Media Network, the O'Connor Fund for Historic Preservation at the Kalamazoo Community Foundation, and the Kalamazoo Public Library.